the shark. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the start of putting the studs out. We have all these mirrors separated and put in the pasture that they're going to be in. But when you let the stud out, you have to gather them back up and make sure they're all in one spot. And then let the stud out with them. So he gets all his mirrors all at once in the pasture that he's going to be in. There's some cows in this pasture too. Those are Jerry's Wagyu cows. Troy and Henson should be coming up back here pretty quick. All right, we came out to Rock Tank to get Monster, and here he comes. Let me get out of the truck and video him for ya. Get in. There you go. Jump in. Come on. Just kidding. <laughs> My hubby's got skills. That's why I married him. <laughs> Troy's checking out Monster's mustache. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can have a mustache. <laughs> mm, cute monster. He's a good boy. He's the Scottish boy. He's so sweet. Oh my goodness. We knew he wouldn't be uh, hard to catch, so we just drove out here into the pasture to get him. There's two gildings up in the front, Trigger and Choice Horse, I don't know what he calls them. Well, we're back on the ranch the next day. We ran out of daylight, so we're um, Troy, Jasper, and Henson over that way, they're gonna gather some mares for a monster and then we'll push them across the river. Who are you on, babe? What are we gonna call that horse? I don't know. We gotta call him something. Need some help, Jasper? Well, I didn't bring a horse. Jasper and Troy are plenty of help, and there was no room in the horse trailer. We have another stud in there and one compartment, and then the three horses fit in the back. So Jerry will be here later. Plenty of help. I'm just going to chill out in the pickup, edit a video for you guys while I'm sitting here. And something I've been doing different is editing on my MacBook. I usually edit on my phone on the go. And that's really convenient, but I thought I'd challenge myself and <laughs> learn how to edit on an actual big screen. So I'm learning how to do that. 
anyway, I'll just sit here and wait for, I don't know, a few minutes. Shouldn't take them that long to gather these mares. Here they come. Troy. Henson. Jasper. Okay. That's Monster's bunch out there. I'm going to let him go. I'm opening it this way. I was trying to take the cockaburs out of his hair. Hey, bud. You ready to go? Look at his hair. <laughs> I did the best I could. I didn't have a brush or anything, not even gloves. So, okay. All right, sir. His name's Locke. Locke, okay. Locke. All Here right. Goes Locke. We'll check out his girl. He, he's not sure. Look at him. He's like, what? Might be a full heat right there. Oh. <laughs> She's like, you waited too long. <laughs> So we are out here in Beacon Light the next day again. There's Sunny. But uh, the guys have been trailering horses for like four days. I don't know how many trailer loads we take up and down across the ranch. But we loaded up those two pairs and they're going to Crazy Creek to go with our KR, I think. So <laughs> it's quite a process. I can't just video it and show you guys how it's done because the mares are spread out all across the ranch before this all starts. They have to gather them all up. They have to separate them. They have to trailer them and they can't just take the whole bunch to Crazy Creek. It's, there's babies involved and there's, we don't want them to get hurt. So we just haul like that load was, um, that load was two moms and two babies separated by a divider because we don't want anybody to get hurt so that's how it's done it's hard to video but hope you guys can get the gist of things i'm trying to at least video getting the studs when they get turned loose with the mares because that's a really fun part so we're probably going to head back to uh crazy creek 
and video RKR going out with his mares. And looks like Jerry's here with another trailer and he's probably gonna pick up these other two. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> Separating mares and babies and hauling and loading and unloading and, and all that jazz. Oh, and Troy has his truck and trailer out here to get the riding horses because we need room for them and they have to get hauled back to the house. When uh, the guys start separating mares and studs and stuff, it is a good, solid week of gathering, separating, trailering from sunup to sundown. So that's, that's where we are, right smack dab in the middle of that. Reminder, if you guys wanna see the babies, go to Jerry's channel. Hey. Yeah, if you want to see the babies, you got to go to J Hart Quarter Horses. And I'll be telling you a little bit about the mares and the studs. So take a look at it. And you'll get to see them close up. Close Colors, up. fillies, colts, all that good information. And they're all available. Yeah. Not all of them. Some of them are available. The crazy. Some already have money down. So if you want first pick, you guys need to go to... Jerry's channel, J Hart Quarter Horses, here on YouTube and and find them. Here's Chawner. You see, do pull up, Chawner. Huh? Do five. Five. Five pull ups. Okay. I can do five. five. One more. <laughs> okay, Jerry's turn. Shoot up, I can't do one. Barely <laughs> reach it. I can barely reach it. <laughs> uh. <Whoa. laughs> you, you wasted all that time swinging. I know. You wasted I all your energy. I couldn't get my momentum. <laughs> Connor was out riding a tractor all morning, covering up pipe. How'd that go, Connor? Hi, um, pretty good. Time consuming? Yeah. Slow. It's what? Slow. Slow. Oh, you're going with Grandpa, I guess. Grandpa needs somebody to keep him awake on the drive across the ranch. <laughs> Let's go see what's in Jerry's ice chest. Is there anything in there? Yeah, there's Jerry with the Pepsis. Oh, one Coke. One water. Hey, what's up? Someone called. Somebody called me? No. Called daddy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. Let's go.
put Trigger out. Uh, PC Trigger Frost is his registered name. He's a 2004 that makes him 19 years old. So he is a, a son of Sunfrost. Um, there's probably not a whole lot of those out there. There's, there's a, um, you know, a handful, I'm guessing. He's a really nice horse. Um, he's really excited to get out with his mares. His halter is kind of over his ear. <laughs> well, he he kind of <laughs> knows what's happening. So he's thinking, why am I waiting? Well, the guys went out to gather those mares that are in here for him, and uh, one of the gates was open. One of the well guys left the gates open, I guess, or hunters, who knows what. So now they're chasing them. But we have a lot of really nice foals that we've we've had uh, by this guy, and a lot of people are, are pretty happy with how they're riding, how they're performing. He has run barrels. Uh, he has been roped on. He's gentle for almost anybody to ride. Connor's ridden him, and Connor's, you know, just a teenager, and uh, he's done real well with him. He rides uh, good with other horses, and he kind of transfers all of that onto his babies. So we're going to have a few of those babies for sale. He doesn't always do a buckskin or a palomino. He does some sorrows, and he does some bays, and um, can't really ride color, but you can ride good, and I, I think he's the type. So son of Sunfrost. You want one? Give us a holler. <laughs> well, all the horses are in. There's eight mares that came in, and we have four more in the trailer that we need to unload and put in the little water lot and then we'll let Trigger in there with them. Good morning. Look who I have in the front yard this morning. Czar. And guess what we're doing today? Besides eating all my lawn. <laughs> we're getting x-rays of Czar's leg today. We are about six months, let me see, November. December, January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, we're six months post-injury. There's his leg. Looks really good. But we're gonna see what's going on inside there. He's moving good, he's feeling good. He's in good spirits, so we're excited for this.
All right, guys, Dr. Reedhead and Riley just left, and I'm letting Zar just munch on the grass, <laughs> get a little snack while um, I talk to you guys. So, all good news, nothing but good news, and we are so excited about that. He can get some more turnout time, he can do some light exercise, he should be good to hand breed, and we're just gonna go for it and let him keep living his best life. We're so excited to have him still. We're glad we didn't put him down and um, glad to have taken you guys through this journey with us. Thanks for being there for us, all the prayers and all the support. Man, it sure helped. I'm so grateful for all of you and for him and Henson, God is good. <laughs> Answered prayers for sure. We love our Zar boy.